Hey, what's going on guys? It's CTA Prime back here again. Today I have the La Potato single board computer and I want to test out a new build of Laka that was just released for it. This board also goes by Libra Computer Board AML S905 XCC. If you search Google, you'll be able to find it by its original name, which was La Potato, but this thing runs an S905 Amlogic CPU, two gigabytes of RAM in the board that I have here. They also offer a one gigabyte. This model goes for $45 on Amazon right now. There's a few operating systems available for it, like Armbian, Ubuntu, Libre Elect, Android, and now Laka. And that's what I'm gonna be testing out in this video here. So we're gonna move over to the operating system. I'm gonna test a few emulators here, and we'll see how it performs. All right, so here we are with the La Potato running Laka 2.1. I'm just gonna to go to information. I am using a wired PS4 controller. System information. You can't really tell that I'm running the La Potato from here, but as you can see, we got four cores here, S905, and we're running Mali drivers. So I installed a few games here. I did install some PSP, even though it doesn't run well. I also tried N64, but the sound was really bad. Now this is the very first build for this board, so I expected some bugs. We're just gonna go in here and test out. We'll start with Bloody Roar 2, PlayStation 1. So I was definitely expecting PlayStation 1 to work well, and as you can see, it's running at full speed. Have no problems here. This is one of my go-to tests for PlayStation 1. Ah, just missed him. Beast mode. So you shouldn't have any trouble running PlayStation 1. We'll back out of here. I'm gonna close this content. And we're gonna test PSP. So we'll go with Burnout Legends first. Little Big Planet runs great on pretty much any hardware that I've tested, even the Raspberry Pi 3, so that was a given. Burnout Legends. I'm gonna get into some gameplay here. I do have to turn the music down. I'm having trouble trying to save. It goes to a black screen, so I can't save my progress. So I thought it was gonna run well as soon as we started here, but as soon as that sun comes into play over in the left hand corner there, everything just slows down. If I can keep it out of the way, the game runs really well. Now you gotta remember, this is the first release of Locker for this board, so obviously some stuff's not gonna work correctly. Go ahead and get out of here. Like I mentioned, Little Big Planet does run well. So what about basic systems like SNES, NES, Game Boy Advance, Final Burn Alpha? Let's test them out here. Got Joe and Mac 2, Super Nintendo, game runs fine. You shouldn't have any trouble playing any SNES, even NES or Genesis. Now I'm hoping for a new release in the next few weeks for this with some PSP fixes and maybe some N64 fixes. This is a decent board for what it is. Um, I'll leave a link to Amazon down below if you want to go check it out. There's a couple operating systems available for it right now. I've been waiting on a new release of Android, but they haven't put anything great out just yet. There's just one release, it's a preview release. I didn't have much luck with it. But SNES runs really well. Back out of here. 
If SNES runs, NES is probably going to run really well also. I'll go with Adventure Island 2. Very nice performance here. And that's the end of the first stage. Back out of here. And we'll test a Game Boy Advance game. Mega Man Zero Three. It's going to take a little while to get through this intro, so I'll fast forward it here. All right, we're past that 10 minute intro. Get the buttons right here. God, I hate those things. Come on. So as you can see, it runs Game Boy Advance games pretty well. I should have pulled my sword out a long time ago. Go ahead and back out of here, and we're going to test one more. We're going to test out some FBA arcade games. And my favorite, Metal Slug 4, definitely going to test it here. Mission. Go down here. Shoot. 
So runs Metal Slug really well. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. Like I mentioned, N64 is not running well. You saw PSP doesn't run very well. There are a few games that are going to run really good on this board, like Little Big Planet. But I did say that it does run well on the Raspberry Pi 3. Pretty much nothing else does. So that's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Overall, it does run these old school emulators pretty well for what this board is. If you're interested in picking one up, I'm going to leave links down below to Amazon. They are $45 for the 2 gigabyte model. But who knows, maybe in the future we can get better releases of Laka and maybe even RetroPie down the road. If you guys could, hit that like button and subscribe. And like always, thanks for watching.